Alrighty, hello guys, welcome your faces back to another Sprocket video on my channel. Today we are going to be jumping into Sandbox, and we are going to be building a tank, which uh, obviously is is the aim of the game. Anyway, we're going to be building a mid-war tank because I feel like that'll be pretty cool. Uh, it's going to be quite a long one, it's going to be quite a nice one. Hopefully like a medium weight, I don't know what the medium weight is. We're going to go around 30 tons, um, actually maybe like 25 tons, uh, we're going to go for that. And hopefully we can build something pretty cool. So, let's just go ahead and jump straight into this. We're going to go straight to this, and we're going to go from there. Anyway, let's get on with it, shall we? Okie dokie, so we're just going to go ahead and get on with building this thing. Hopefully everything will go well. It's been a little while since I've actually played this game though, so... Uh, there are a few things that I'm going to actually forget to do. There's going to be a few things that I don't remember how to do uh, and stuff like that. But hopefully all goes well. So we're going to, first of all, try and separate these a little bit. We're going to make it a little bit wider. We're going to go with 1.9. There we go. Uh, actually, we'll just go with two. There you go. Two meters apart. Uh, we're going to go with six meters long. I actually think that's already okay. Uh, that's probably fine. We're going to go with probably the sprocket at the front. Yes. Uh, and that's going to be raised up to be about there. And also the sprocket is going to be a lot bigger. We're going to go with something like this. There we go. That actually looks sick already. That looks pretty cool. There we go. We're going to lower this down at the back just slightly. And yeah, I think as far as tracks go, I think that's okay. What we'll also do is make the road wheels a little bit smaller as well. Uh, I feel like that actually is pretty cool. Uh, but that also means I want to raise this up, raise this up, and also raise this up. Um... As well as that, actually, we need to raise this entire thing up in the middle. So let's do select all and raise it up to the same point that it was at before. And that is pretty cool. Yes. All right, good. Do I want the width and stuff to change on the tracks is the question. I think probably, uh, but I don't think by very much. So 0.7 will make it wider. Uh, we'll make it quite thick and stuff like that. So there we go. We can make it very thick. Um, actually, maybe not that thick. The length of these is going to be huge. And the width of it, yeah, 0.7, let's go, 0.7. There we go, yeah, I think that works. Uh, we're actually going to go ahead and do the wheels straight away as well, because we should. Uh, the idler, ooh, should we make that bigger, actually? Let's make the idler bigger at the back. There we go, we're going to go with something like this. We're going to lower it down just slightly, and I think that's awesome. I think that'll work out for us. I do need these to be wider as well. So, road wheels, we're going to make them spacing. Meh. Uh, yeah, space them out a tiny bit, but then width, uh, bring them out. I don't know if we want them to be that wide. I feel like the separation between them is what we need to do. There we go. That looks okay-ish, I suppose. Uh, width of it, and then spacing on axle will lower. There, I think that's okay. Okay, as for the return rollers, let's go ahead and just make the width of those out to about there. And I honestly think that works. Yeah, I think that's pretty cool. All right, good. Anyway, go back to this. Uh, no, actually, no. Hang on. We got more to do here. Uh, the mount, we're going to leave it the same. The road wheels, we're going to have them look... Oh, I don't know. Uh, kind of boring. We're going to go with these ones. The suspension is going to stay the same. Uh, those, we're going to stick with that. That's fine. And track segments are actually going to look like... Like that. Yeah, I think that actually looks pretty sick. Uh, spares, we're not going to add those just yet. But we might add them in the future. We'll see. Anyway, go back to compartments. Let's go ahead and extend this out sideways so that it fits together. We're going to go ahead and bring it upwards again so that it all fits and stuff. And that should be pretty cool. We're actually going to... Hmm, we're going to have to model this properly. So grab this one and this one, uh, as well as these guys. It's already mirrored, so this is fine. So we're going to send this backwards to... I guess about there, yeah? We're then going to go to faces and we're going to extend these guys upwards. Probably about that much, that's probably fine. We're then going to go to faces again, and we're going to extend these guys up. Uh, just like that, that's probably okay. Don't really want the front to be as flat as this, so we will change that. Um, but all of this will be changed as well, so lower this down and bring it backwards into there, sort of. Um, yeah, I think we need an extra bump though, so we will. We'll add an extra bump, so extend this upwards. We're going to grab it from here and here, we're going to send this backwards. And upwards, obviously. There we go. We're going to go backwards to... Oh, I don't know. Let's say about there. Yeah, I think that actually looks pretty sick. And honestly, I think we might actually lower this bit down slightly and push it backwards and in. There we go. 
I think that looks cool. Yeah, I think that looks really cool. Um, so that's good. We're going to extend this bit out forwards, as well as this bit, actually. Actually, no, we will not. We are not. We're going to bring it backwards. Same with these guys on the bottom. Backwards. There we go. That looks cool. That looks very cool. So, with that being said, uh, at the back, we're actually going to go ahead and bring all of this forwards. Uh, to about there. That's all good. We're actually going to go ahead and take the side bits inwards. Which might look a bit crazy, but we'll go for it. There we go, like that. That actually looks very crazy, but I like it. That's good. Um, and yeah, I'm actually pretty happy with this. This is good. Yeah. Alright, what else do we need to do? We're going to extend this bit upwards, just slightly. Uh, we're going to bring this bit inwards, just to there. So that it, again, somewhat fits in. That would be good. We're going to bring this bit over as well. Maybe even upwards and inwards. And we're going to leave that like that. Yeah, I think that works. Nice. Okay, so that's all good. That is, that is in fact, all good. We're going to bring these pieces upwards. We're going to bring this bit up to there. Uh, actually, we'll bring it down. We'll bring it to there. And honestly, I really like the way this is looking so far. So we're going to keep it this way, kind of. Yeah, good. All right, cool. So the turret, we're going to leave until last. Uh, but we are going to put these driver's things on first. Uh, before we do anything else. So, driver's view is going to go there. We're going to extend it sideways. It's going to look really big. Um, to the left of that, I think we're going to light. So, we're actually going to put a big light in right here. And we're also going to put a gun in the side as well. Uh, purely because I think that's a good idea. So, we're going to put that right there. And go to viewports. We're going to put this directly on the top. And, yeah. Alright, as for the front of this, I think that looks pretty good. To be honest. I think that looks pretty good. Okay, anything else that we really need on this little bit? I guess we need crew hatches in order to actually get in. We'll just go with one above the driver. So that's the way into there. Uh, and I would say that's pretty good. Yeah, I like it. I actually really like that. Unless actually we go with this thing instead. Yeah, we could go with one of those. That works. Yeah, I like that. All right, stowages. Um, realistically, I would like to put them on the sides. Um... Whether I can put them on the sides is a different question. I think I might be able to get away with this. So I think that's what I'm going to attempt. There we go. We'll put two of those on right there. Um, I know it merges with this, but we're just going to ignore that because it doesn't impact us. So I think that's all good. All right, good. Go back to mobility. Go to fenders. Auto generate. Okay, now we need to move them. So height of them needs to come all the way up to, like, all the way up to there, which is pretty crazy. Uh, separation, we're going to go with two. There we go, clearly. Uh, width of them actually has to go really wide, uh, which is not possible, actually. It's not possible to go as wide as we need it to go. That's actually pretty crazy. Can I... No? Can I modify that? No. Oh, wow. Okay, well, that's pretty insane. Um, right, length of this. Section length is going to be pretty big. Uh, can I move it forwards? Offset front. Let's send it forwards like this. Okay. Looks a bit crazy, but I like it. That works. Scale. We're going to make this bit go forwards and also angle down more. Because I think that looks sick. Yeah. This actually looks pretty cool. Uh, at the rear, we're going to leave it open. And I think that'll be okay. Yeah. That actually looks really cool. Um, problem is, though, obviously we've got a huge gap in between these. Um, and that's kind of annoying, I guess. So, we're going to try and fix that a little bit, I think. So, how do we even how do we even go about fixing this? Go to faces, grab this one. Oh, this one. Uh, probably this one, though. Extend this out sideways, bring it over to there. Uh, drop it down. Okay, yeah. Grab this point that I can't quite see, but it's in here. I know it is. There we go. We're going to send this this way and upwards so it fits in there. Uh, this bit clearly already fits on there, so that's all good. And then this bit at the back is going to be brought upwards to there. Send it forwards, and we're going to leave it like that. But unfortunately, it hasn't done it on both sides. Oh, I hate when this game does this. It's very annoying. It is extremely annoying. Um, Alright, undo all the bits. There we go. Right, so I need to extend this on both sides. Right, that has done it. But then it doesn't move outwards with it. That's silly. That is very silly. Okay, well, um... It appears I can't do much with that then, unless I did this. Yeah, so that it somewhat fits to it. That works more. And then we just grab this point, which has been zoomed out. 
put that back inside the tank, and yeah, I mean, I guess that works. Grab this piece, and this piece, send it, there we go. Yeah, I think that works, that's a lot better than it was, so that's good, we'll leave it like that. Alright, go to mobility, uh, go to tracks, yes, go to the end, spares, let's get some track segments on here. Oh my, they're huge. <laughs> They're bigger than I, I thought. They're bigger than I thought. Holy moly. Holy moly. They're huge. They're actually ginormous. I was not expecting them to be this big. Guys, I don't think I can have those on there. Um, length of the belt has to be way smaller. We're going to go with like 0 0.25 instead. There we go. All right, good. So now we can move these into the center a little bit. And they won't look so weird. However, it still looks very weird. It still looks incredibly weird. Alright, let's move these in. We'll put them there. There we go. That looks strange, but we're going to go with it. Road wheels. We can have some spares on the front. And one in the middle. There we go. That looks pretty crazy, but I think I like it. That's good. Alright, cool. So track segments, they're all done. Everything in here is actually completely fine. Fuel, we're going to lower this to 150. There we go, because we don't need that much. Transmission is going to be a six-geared transmission. That's okay. Engine. Uh, ooh, I don't know. I feel like we should go with heavy, but I'm not sure. Displacement, two liters. We'll have ten cylinders. Our RPM and stuff needs to be worked out. Maximum is three, four hundred. Uh, one, seven hundred. One, seven hundred. And there we go. We got 30.8 horsepower per ton. However, that is going to change. As soon as we add more armor and stuff to this thing, as soon as we add a turret, everything's going to change. So we don't need to worry about that just yet. Anyway, uh, storages, we've already got some on. Um, lights, we've already got some lights on, but I'm going to add some to the back. We're going to just keep a flat back. I think that's okay. Uh, and we're going to go with that. That's okay. Right, good. So now, go to compartments. Go to turrets. Let's go ahead and put a square one on it for now. Actually, I really like the base game one. I actually really rate this turret. I think it's cool. Um, but yeah, we're going to move it in. Move it over. Let's grab all of these. And all of these. We're going to send them all inwards. And it's going to work out for us, I think. Yep, good. Um, what do I want to do then? Right, I want to grab both of these. Send it down. So that it crushes. I want to send it outwards. Yes. Send this backwards to about there. Yes, okay. Send this one forwards to there. That that works too. Okay, excellent. We're going to bring this one up at the front. To the same point as the back, pretty much. We're going to extend it out forwards, though. We're going to extend this bit out sideways. And we're going to extend this bit out sideways. And also backwards. There we go. So, I know that looks weird. And I know it's not a good idea to do this. Because it's a shot trap. But... Uh, it's what we've got and it's what we're going to go with because it's an interesting design. So there you go. Uh, right, so now we go to faces. We extend it on top of here. We bring it upwards slightly as we should. And then we're going to build it off the back of this. Extend. So that's coming backwards. We're going to build it so it goes inwards just a little bit. And we're going to build it off of that. That's cool. Yeah, all right, cool. So we extend all of these upwards. Bring it upwards a little bit. Bring them all inwards, just like so. And honestly, I think that's pretty cool. Yeah. All right. Maybe not inwards so much, but there you go. So that's going to be our turret. It looks pretty crazy, but I think it works. All right. Grab this one and this one and send it backwards. And there we go. Pretty crazy turret, but I like it, I think. Uh, we're then going to send this guy in like this. Gives it a bit more of a nice shape. Uh, smooth angles. We could make it quite smooth if we wanted to. Is it a good idea? I don't know, but we could totally leave it like that. That works. All right, go to crew, go to storages. Let's put one of these on. Uh, ee, 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 ee. On the back of here. Yeah, just just down there like that. There we go. I think that works. I Honestly, I think that's okay. Uh, build it a bit bigger, put it there. Yeah, that's cool. All right, cool. Lights, uh, we might add a light to the top of this as well. Uh, just off to the other side. There you go, as to where the other light is. And that is awesome. Alright, firepower. Let's do firepower next. This is going to be crazy. So, we might go with one of these. Honestly. I think I am just going to go with one of these. And we're just going to slap it on there like that. That's fine. 
Um, cannon? Oh, what do we go with? 88 millimeter by, oh, I don't know, 750, I guess. 750 millimeters. There we go. That's pretty crazy. We're going to increase this to two. We're going to add another one. That's going to be one meter long. And we're going to add one of these to the end. And that's going to look sick. That actually looks real nice. I like it. Uh, Gunner's sights. I believe we've already got one. So we don't need one of those. Mantlet, we've already got. That's awesome. And I think I'm happy with that, guys. Honestly, I think I'm very happy with that. Elevation goes all the way up, goes all the way down. Brilliant. Yeah. That's amazing. All right, cool. So that all works. Uh, so we got 88 by... Yeah, okay. But that's going to be stored in the turret. Okay. It's pretty tricky to begin with, but that's fine. Um, so we're going to increase the basket size. There we go. And I think that's all good. I think that's actually fine. Nice. Mobility, that's already done. Turret's in. Crew. We will need more crew, probably. Uh, so that's going to be loading that one. That's going to be firing that one. That's the driver. That's the commander. Can the commander also be the radio operator? No. We're going to add a radio operator too, then. And that's going to be cool. Yeah, it totally works. All right, nice. So realistically, this thing now works and drives and everything works. However, um, I am going to select all on the turret. Uh, in terms of faces, so select all. We're going to increase the armor thickness all the way around. So that's just the ring. Uh, thickness at the bottom is actually going to be 80 mil. There we go, except the front. The front is actually going to be a little bit more. 110. All right, so we're already at our 20... Oh, wow. We're already at our 20 um, weight limit thing. Oh, wow. We're already at 20. That's crazy. That is actually pretty crazy. Uh, so, uh, these sides don't need doing the same as the front does. So, the front is going to get done very, very effectively. Uh, including these bits right here. There we go. So, this is going to be about 100 mil thick. Okay. Now, for the top, we're just going to leave that at about 20. There we go. The sides uh, that we can see on the top are going to be around 55. There we go. The sides on the sides are going to be about 55 as well. There we go. We're at 29 tons so far. Uh, the rear is only going to be about 25. There you go. The top back here, 20. Uh, and I think that's fine. As for the bottom, we're going to lower this bit down. We get a bit of an angle. We get more room. That's all good. Uh, I think I'm happy with that. I honestly think I am happy with this. We're at under 30 tons, so that's good. Uh, and I think everything's okay. Yeah, no, I like this. This is perfect. Uh, it's already at 10 mil. That's fine. Yeah. Okay, good. Uh, we're going to release some of the armor on the roof. We're only going to go with 20 on the top of there. Because we're not going to get shot there. There's no planes in this game. So there you go. Excellent. We're also just going to get rid of these. Down to like 50 instead as well. And then the rear of the turret is also going to be about 50. Way up. There we go. All right. Brilliant. Brilliant, that works. So, we've got a tank now. It should drive, it should work. Let's go into mobility. Let's go to engine. And let's put some thingamabobbies on here. So, I really like these ones, honestly. So, we're actually going to go ahead and put one of these on both sides. Um, I don't know how to have it, actually. Yeah, I want them to face the other way. But I don't know how to do that. That looks really weird. That looks very strange, but then if we add these as well, uh, that actually work. We're going to go for it. It looks weird, but I like it. Good. Okay, vents. Um, not very good at adding vents so that they look nice, but we're just going to add two of these. And we're going to add a few little tiny ones down the sides. Here we go. Little tiny one there, little tiny one there, and then two down here. There we go. I think that looks fine. It works. Uh, so I'm happy with that. Alright, extra fuel. Underneath the exhaust seems like a bad place to put it, but there you go. We're going to add some extra fuel down there. And honestly, I think we're done. I think we're actually done. Um, livery, I like this one. I always go with this one as well. I want to try and make this grey if I can. So let's go with like a bluer colour. Scale, we'll make bigger. And then metallic, we'll bring down. Saturation. Okay, scale up it massively. 
Okay, like that. And then saturation, we'll leave like this. Brightness, all the way up. I think that's a pretty cool looking tank. I like it anyway. Um, okay, so we're going to leave it like that, pretty much. Let's go to decals, and we'll add a German thingamabobby. Here we go. Across, and we'll put that... We'll actually put that there. Okay, we're going to go with that. That seems fine. And then we'll add one right here as well. Because also, that seems fine. Okay, good. So, I'm happy with this. Let's make this a little bit smaller. And put it there instead. Alright, good. I'm actually very happy with this. There is a few things that we are missing, though. So, we're missing a hatch on the actual turret. We're going to put that right there. We're also going to go with a Commander's Cupola thingamabobby on the top of here also. Off to the side slightly. That works. Stowages. We already have loads of stowages. Uh, so, I'm actually happy with those. Uh, if I can put this on here, that would work too. Actually, let's try and put that on both sides, and we'll actually add two of those. Um, lights we already got. Utilities, that is something that we don't currently have uh, that I think we need, so we're going to put that on one side. Yep, we'll leave that there. All the other stuff is going to try and go on this side, so we'll have bucket and spade and stuff. We'll add these guys right up here on the front, and one of these should really be on here, but it needs to go in there, and it doesn't really fit. But we're going to put it in anyway. Woo! Nice. Alright, put that there. Hopefully that's on both sides. I don't think it is, but never mind. Uh, we're going to put this on both sides. And we're going to have some that lift it up as well somewhere around here. There we go. There, and also back here. Bam. There we go. Excellent. I love this. This this should work out pretty nicely for us. We've got a lot of room left over, which is awesome. Uh, don't know what it's for. We don't need more room, but there you go. Um, fire part? I guess we could put a gun in the in the hull too. Since we got so much room left over, but we're not going to do that. Um, so yeah, I think I'm happy with this. Let's go ahead and add an antenna, because it doesn't currently have one. And we'll put them on the back. Go! Does it move? Whoa! The engine noise! There's been an engine update to this game! Oh yeah! Alright, I think this would ruin everything. Maybe not everything, but you know. It's a it's a medium medium tank. I like it. I think we've done a good job here. I think we've done a pretty good job. Whoa! There we go. Brilliant. Crosses the biggest trenches. That's awesome. We might need a bigger gun. I think that gun's sort of letting it down. Yeah. Alright, cool. Um, firepower. Cannon. Yep, yeah, that one. Um, 88 mil? Let's go with 110 mil. There we go. Oh, yeah. Alright, that looks way better. We're going to make this two meters long. And there we go. That that works. Okay, components. Make the basket space bigger so that we've got more room. There we go. All right, now, now I'm happy with that. That's cool. The engine noise. That's weird. Can I change the engine noise? Does heavy sound different to, like, light, and then they might sound different to each other. But that sounds ridiculous right now. Sounds crazy. Um, but anyway, let's go ahead and spawn ourselves in an enemy. Uh, I don't know which one. I actually don't know. Crumb Tilda, there we go. And see if it can shoot us and kill us straight away, because it might. And we can kill it. Alright, fantastic. What's our weight situation? 30 tons. I think we've done a pretty good job with this. Um, so I'm going to leave this here. If you guys want to see this thing in action, let me know in the comments down below, and we'll see what we can do. But for now, thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Goodbye. Goodbye.